Hey guys, this is Awesome to Movies, and today I'll be showing you a review on my custom mag made Lego M1A1 Abrams tank. Now, this tank is um, a replica or a model of um, the M1A1 Abrams tank. Now, it's a tan color. Now, this is my design. I designed it on the Lego Digital Designer as a prototype on there. Then I ordered the pieces of Brit Link and just custom made it to this, and it turned out pretty, pretty good actually. Uh, I estimate it's about 300 pieces in it, not including the treads, but if you include the treads, then it'll be a lot more. I say there's about 125 treads on the tank on both sides. Um, now, the, the eight this tank, you can. It can has a crew of four, so you can have a driver and three people in the turret. Now, it has a jet engine, because that's what it's powered by, at the rear, over here, hatch here. Um, I was going to try to make it removable, but um, when you open the hatch, it's, it's too small of a gap to take it out, but there is one in there. And the turret, the turret turns 360. Then the cannon can turn 90 degrees. So it has all the features of the tank. Now, in here you can fit the driver, so you can actually get him in and out without removing the turret. See him in there. There's controls, computers as well in there. That's all cool. Then in the turret, there's there's actually three people in the turret right now. You've got the gunner here, and you also got a gunner and a loader, um, a commander and loader. So there's one person underneath here and one underneath here. I uh, won't take it apart now, but I'll show you some pictures of them in there after I've done a review. But, um, yeah, so I'll show you more of the turret. So you can have a machine gun on here. Then you've got hatches open up so you can fit your crew in. But you can't actually get them in through these hatches. You have to actually take this roof section off here. And then you can fit them in and put them back on. And they don't actually the way I have the stand is this little bit back here behind the head there's this fold out bit and you fold it out and then you can put the minifig on there so it stands taller on here and then when you put the crew in laying down you just fold it back there's also some ammo back here for the turret gun whatever can't see it now but I'll put photos in it there's also some levers and controls in it so yeah, it's pretty good. The 50 caliber machine gun is pretty basic design, but I like how it turned out. Pretty good. I was thinking of using a brick arms one, but um, none of them really suited what I was going for, so I just used Lego pieces and it turned out pretty good. So it does turn if you take the minifig off it. And you get your normal machine gun cannon here and you got the side machine gun that shoots the same direction where this is aimed at. So in total this has three weapons and you can also have another person here shooting a machine gun. That's the side view. Front view. Other side. Rear view. That's the hatch I was talking about. Top U. So. And the under view. And the treads do move. Except they don't grip very well on the Lego track. But um, they do move quite freely. And. 
that's about it.